what's going on everybody welcome back uh, today we are on the side of the rig uh, I just replaced all the maintenance and the seals and everything about 6,000 miles ago or so maybe even less than that but um, I had a brake hanging so I got into it the other day there's a collar broke I doing another video on the other side about how to replace the brake so I got a whole new assembly we'll do that here's just how to get the, the hub off castle nut replace the, uh, the the seal grease the the bearings and everything so let's we'll see how this goes so as you can see we already got everything jacked up the wheels off just go ahead and uh, pull that dust cover off get some channel locks and a little plaid screwdriver here I'm gonna take that castle nut cover off, get in there with your channel locks, take the castle nut off, set that off to the side, easy way just grab that a little bit like that, most of the time that will come out just like so. Here's where you want to kind of keep the hub as clean as you can. Don't put finger marks on the inside of it. Like that. You see we got a little brake dust in there, but we'll get that all cleaned up. And the reason I actually got in here is because of how loose this is. There's supposed to be a collar on there, and that's what's making my brakes hang up. So we're going to remove this I'm doing another video of that on the other side and get back to you when I'm done with that all right we're back got the brakes all reassembled time to pull a little seal on the hub here it's gonna go easy walk it around the thing you don't want to do is put too much pressure because that's your inner bearing right there so this we'll go ahead and discard and put a new one on. All right, so get some uh, grease in your hand or you can get a packer, but you know, check out these uh, bearings. This is the outer bearing. Make sure it just turns and you'll probably have some wear marks, some little burn marks or something, but as long as it's not blue, you should be okay. And then all you're gonna do is just start packing it through the bottom, through the big, the big side there's the, the smaller side, so you'll start to see it come out like it is now. And then, once you get that way, you just give her a little turn. And just keep going around until you get it fully packed in there. Alright, then grab the inner bearing. Try to be careful not to do it overneath or over the, the hub. If you do get grease on it, get some brake cleaner. Get it all cleaned out. As you can see, this one still turns pretty easy. It's not blued or anything anywhere. So, same way. until it starts coming out the top clean it off put another dab in your hand and there you go just keep going all the way around with it all right got all of this uh, done it is a messy job uh, this inside racetrack just check for uh, any bluing set that back down and next we have to go on is the seal just keep kind of keep that all as uh, clean as you can get her all right, so you're gonna need a tub of bearing grease, if not two tubs of bearing grease. So here we go, just the seal, the bearing seal that's going on there. Now just like anything, if you have yourself the proper tools, it goes a lot cleaner, but I don't. So I got the most expensive uh, 
seal sealer there is and we're gonna just get this in You can kind of hear a little sound difference in there. And we are flush. I like that. All right. Get a little grease on the spindle here. Just put a light coat. It's another thing. Uh, Get you guys up here. It's another thing right here. Uh, when you get some grease on the spindle, go ahead and feel around for it. Make sure it's not blued. You're probably going to have some wear marks underneath here, but you know, as long as this isn't pitted or scarred, would uh, you know probably give you an idea that something's not right in there. Now, if you do have any grease on this hub right here, uh, go ahead and wipe it off. Some good old brake cleaner. We don't. Try to get on there as even as possible so you don't and then just replacing. Gonna get a little more grease on here. Kick it on there a little bit. There's plenty of room in there for that stuff to go. on like so and you're gonna have your washer probably a flat spot on the washer which go on the front side here you got the nut that on cleaned up here a little bit now you can go and get one of these uh, seal pullers they're like eight dollars I think at a uh, Harbor Freight I've used it 12 times now and it's still in perfect condition so Probably gonna have to loosen up that brake a little bit. I don't know. It's pretty good. We'll get under there after I get the tire on. So there are torque specifications for this, and I don't know what they are. That's what we're going with. A little retainer has the same thing. Flat spot's gonna go on the front. Got it there. A little clean. The only thing we have left, dust cover.
and there we go. Only thing left to do is uh, adjust the brakes, put the tire back on, drop it down. You've just done the 12,000 mile service, replaced the bearings and hand packed, uh, or, uh, hand -packed all the bearings. Um, these are easy lube. Hey, I did another video on how to do that. If you want to pump it full of grease, you can. Uh, this one I hand packed. So if you blow out any seals, that's probably why. It'll get on the back and all over the brake assembly. Uh, but there you go. Doesn't take that long after you've done it a couple times. Not too bad. So, hey, guys, appreciate it. Throw the bones.